Hello and welcome to what I call a new video. Today we are going to play in the Great Ching. That is not a sentence, but sure I will be saying it. Now as the Great Ching we have to worry about such things as Fragile Unity. Look at me go. Fun fact about Fragile Unity, it is actually the worst <laughs> journal entry in this game. Nothing, you're never gonna have Fragile Unity actually fire. And we shall start now. Actually, I am gonna go ahead and put ourselves some government people inside. Then we're gonna go ahead and get a professional army. We obviously have to get the Opium Crisis and also, um, if we just don't risk the ire of uh, Great Britain, we'll just have to deal with the Opium Crisis for actually five years, which is just so weird and stupid. <laughs> like, who came up with that idea? It doesn't make any sense. We're gonna go ahead and not enact a dedicated police force. I made that I made that mistake once. We're gonna go ahead and abolish serfdom instead. Now the good thing about China is that that is an absolute monarchy, meaning that we get a ton of government legitimacy. We have 91 government legitimacy even with the intelligentsia in the government. We also start with the mercantilism law. And with mercantilism, we can do some very funny things. Like export grain. Why would anyone export grain, you might ask? Well, there's this little journal entry everyone was screaming at me for, being corn loss. So now we simply have to go to our market and make export... <sighs> we have to prioritize export. So we can now go to our journals and corn loss should now... No, actually, it should now fire after a week. It's not firing after a week. What? I, I pressed that before. Unfortunate. There we go. We have corn loss now, so we... We'll complete if we are not... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically what we have to do is go to export and then not do that anymore. And then we have the end of corn loss. <laughs> I don't know how this works. <laughs> we just completed corn loss. <laughs> basically. I am very confused. Oops. We just abolished serfdom though, so look at me go. Then unhappy minus nine. They would love a dedicated police force. Ah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. What it is. <laughs> it's fine, 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 it's fine. So for some reason, we are on low taxes. No. <laughs> God, please no. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and tax opium, just so people just don't eat opium that much. We're going to tax porcelain. And we're gonna go ahead and tax luxury furniture. Meaning we are now in A+. plus. We have just researched the cotton grin and we're gonna... Get my boss, it's Lave, guys! I am hilarious. <laughs> okay, I maybe misread the whole journal entry thing because uh, I don't know how to... How to get... <laughs> how, to, how to do this. I just don't know how to do this. The, the traditionalist. Yeah, if this goes through, we're gonna have a massive bureaucratic deficit. So, what I'm currently doing is uh, build a bunch of government administration buildings. OPM addiction, which is obviously tragic, but um, also uh, it will just run out after three years and we don't have to deal with it. We do have this decision, apparently we don't have the decision to ban opium because we didn't... We didn't even like, do anything with the Brits, okay. If we like uh, went ahead and said no to the British Empire, they uh, we would have a little bit of a decision here to ban opium. Uh, but that would give uh, the British grounds to attack me. So I'm simply not doing that. 50%. 50-50. I, I got the 50. We have 41 million loyalists. Jesus. <laughs> we have 26k uh, other guys. Uh, that is probably because we still are on these guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, no, wait. This and this. Yeah, it's plus 15. Uh, so we can go ahead and after getting a dedicated police force, we can just, I don't know, do something else. Like get an army that is actually good. Okay, now it's only a light 3k in debt. Quite unfortunate, but um, it will have to be done. 5%. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I, I believe. I believe. I believe. It's 29% tax waste. <laughs> we got a build. We got a build. No! Okay, we're currently at minus 10. And it only has the bait and... Okay. So, being in a... Righteous government, right? That gives us more. <laughs> that gives us more loyalists. So our loyalists are just going up, and our uh, angry people—they're going down because uh, we are righteous government, and, and nothing's happening, right? <laughs> Standard living, it went up. <laughs> they have nothing to complain about. Oh my god, I just—I just researched my boss. It's so funny. 
I should probably go ahead and uh, <laughs> get to Central Archives instead. That's seven years. That is seven years. I got even more authority. And with the authority, we can go ahead and do some state... Act we wait. <laughs> Half of our nation isn't incorporated. <laughs> A play for power for the rural folk. No. Anyways, if we ever didn't have market access in any state, we could now go ahead and do some uh, road maintenance. Now, the thing about our money is, every time we build one of these uh, government administration buildings, it actually scales uh, twice, because uh, <laughs> the bureaucracy here will go down, and also our uh, insufficient taxation capacity will go down, meaning we will get more money from the taxation capacity, and more money from the bureaucracy deficit. Meaning we are actually already down to only losing 30k. <laughs> I just held on to an effect, uh, event which was bad for the professional army, and I just ignored it. So, <laughs> now we have professional army, look at me go. Now we are still on traditionalism, we definitely have to change that, and the only way we can change that is by getting the industrialists a very powerful boy. So since we now have ourselves a professional army, we can go ahead and upgrade our conscription sectors. And since we have uh, actually zero infamy, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of dandling. Uh, I can't, because I have a declared interest over in Japan for some reason. I do not care about Japan, I'm gonna go ahead and care about that instead. And as I care about that, uh, we will have to wait about a month and then I can go ahead and do a funny little thing in the Sea Empire. Actually untrue, because I am stupid, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a vassal over in Kokon. We're gonna get the Stormlord Defender with 90 troops over here to the Kokon Front. The Kokon Front? The Kokon Front! What is wrong with me? <laughs> Nevertheless, it is time to build more. We're gonna build the ones with the most peasants, of course, just so we can get our taxation capacity less. France is improving relations, because uh, France is protective towards me. And it seems like they are actually going to war over this. It's certainly an interesting play. Oh, they did not. Very well. So we now have a cocoon-shaped object on our border of China. And the Sikh Empire is now still an unrecognized major power, even though they do not have enough prestige to be a major power. So it will decrease to regional power. I feel like cucking the East India Company. The AI isn't going for it anyway, but I think this is funny. So I'll go for it. The Sikh Empire has declared a rivalry, which makes sense, considering I want to invade them. Migration controls is actually a very good thing for the Qing. But I don't like the fact that it's gonna make these guys just unhappy. Because I really need them to be happy. And this one is actually going to a war, so we are now at war with uh, the Burma. And also, um, Burma forgot to put anyone on this front. Which is unfortunate for Burma. What is unfortunate for me, however, is that I have 9 attack. <laughs> I really need to work on my army. You know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> mandatory service. <laughs> Our army is as backwards as backwards can be. We at least need line infantry, like. But we are occupying some of their territory, so it will most likely be fine. And if it won't be fine, I can do this. <laughs> Apparently, the Ottoman Empire got um, Lebanon and the rest of Adana. They really just went for Lebanon, didn't they? <laughs> Certainly based, if I do say so myself. Anyways, line infantry. Also, we landed in the south, meaning we are now just rushing through the Burmese land. But can we win a 2-2-1? We might actually be able to win a 2-2-1. Oh my god. We, we are bad, but not that bad. You'll have to see it. And we have vassalized the Burma, making our market just a little bit bigger. We have also now reached a point where if I were to start building, we would be making money. So basically, we've reached a point if a certain interest group were to have more clout. <laughs> I could be winning right now. Also, uh, according to Victoria the uh, Third, China, if recognized, will not fall apart at all. It's certainly an interesting take on Chinese history, because China was never recognized to be a powerful thing in the real world, I guess. Victoria, the third, is a stupid fucking video game. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. Why is this? Why does it only go up to internal stuff? It should be, it should be something else. Why does it only explode to internal stuff? I like the fact that China is one thing, by the way, and Tibet is a puppet. I think this is the best uh, way they could have portrayed it, and with a journal entry to make it explode if China is bad. But that means 
that if you play like ch fucking Japan, you can't you can't intervene in China, so they all explode. If you you can fight them into default, and then they will likely declare bankruptcy. So you have 20% right here. You can help the heavenly kingdom, but then like a huge chunk of the land being the heavenly kingdom is independent and then China won't fall apart. <laughs> the rest of China will, but not the heavenly kingdom. And that's like a huge part of China. <laughs> Which that would be 40%. And with that 60, then, then you have 60%. Subject under another country. You have to take so much land from China to make it a subject. Realistically, never going to happen. And at the point where it's going to happen, it's not. <laughs> it's not worth it. Nothing's gonna come out of the explosion because they have like one state. And also, this whole losing the opium wars. I didn't have the opium wars, and the opium modifier is gone! Why would you have the opium wars? You could just can't de declare war on anyone for five years. That's that's it. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Anyways, line infantry. That's 40k. Ah, uh, pay. Doesn't matter though. Do we have an input good shortage of artillery? Of course. We need to build arms industries. I don't have arms industries. Makes sense actually. Also iron and coal. But I will still use most of my time for government industry. <laughs> See, the way the heavenly kingdom actually spawns is also dynamic because. Uh, the way the Heavenly Kingdom spawns, it has to have a majority of um, religion uh, being Protestant. And the way this happens is, of course, uh, historically uh, they came through Britain and Macau. Uh, the Protestants just moved into China. And that's why this part of China was um, so Protestant. And uh, because of the Protestantism down here, someone just declared himself the son of Jesus or something, the brother of Jesus. And <laughs> everyone believed him. <laughs> And they had a civil war about it. Uh, so, um, technically, in real life, they would have 20%, um, 40%, 40 60, 80, 90. Oh, they would have 100. They did get rid of the monarchy at the end. Uh, so they would actually have 100%. Uh, <laughs> but it's still so stupid. <laughs> still so stupid. Should be more dynamic than this. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks this is stupid? <laughs> because no one else is complaining about this. It's like one of the only journal entries actually in the game, like for something to happen and then it's, just, uh, it's just bad. Oh yeah, and also you have this like r r weird puppet down here <laughs> for the start of the game. I just kind of ignored it because no one gives a goddamn. <laughs> That's a lot of money I'm not making. <laughs> That is a lot of money I am not making. <laughs> right there. Look at me not making that money. We could tax grain, that's just a stupid idea. I mean, services. You can tax services. And it won't affect the people that much. I'm taxing services. I'm gonna go ahead and do what is called a pro-gaming maneuver. Austria sides with the Sikh Empire. They don't have any land bridge. The Sikh Empire doesn't have a coastline. Why does Austria give a damn about it? <laughs> Also, we just got Napoleonic Warfare, which is unfortunate considering I'm just starting a war. <coughs> Whoops! <laughs> also, I uh, we are probably still like rebuilding the army. Uh, no, we are actually not. We just have to uh, import this. New import route, please give me guns. <laughs> Even more guns. Maybe some more. Okay, and now since we still have a deficit of guns, which is unfortunate, we are just now going to get ourselves some good old and nice one of these. Please, please, I need artillery. I need I need to shoot these people very good. So we get the revolution, but we eat we are eating shit and dying on this front. We're eating shit and dying on most fronts, not this front though, because they had poor visibility. Don't worry about that though. <laughs> we still have an input good charge of small arms and I. Jesus. And I killed everything. <laughs> this is so true. We're not eating shit, nor are we dying. You love to see it. Also, trade agreement with Russia. Awesome. Why not? <laughs> I don't have any journal entries to gank on them anyway. I hope that we are going to get a good take over here. Ooh, that is a nice take. They are pushing immediately, but they're eating shit and dying. Oh, you love to see it. Also, I like how most of my generals have just decided we have to encircle this goddamn puppet. Just fuck you. We're going in. We're pushing one tile at a time. There's another battle going on. And meanwhile, we're just pushing into the land. <laughs> they do not have enough units to sustain all of this. Okay, now we have to find 21 guys. 
Will we be able to do it? Oh, that's crazy. How are we able to do that immediately? Oh my god, they only have 7k and 20. <laughs> you know, normally but one battalion equals 1,000 dudes. Um, but if 20 battalions have 7,000 people in them, that is really bad. That means we are shooting them faster than that they are, um, like, retaking, like, recapturing them. Like, this is how it works, right? Uh, currently, this is down to half. Their barracks are down to half in this state, and it's 70 battalions here. So there's actually, in 70 battalions, there's only 35,000 people. And that is rapidly going down. Every time we shoot another one of them, that means we... Oh my god. You can obviously help that by uh, going over here to high military wages. But I don't think I need it, so I'm not doing it. Also, we are now occupying every single state. We're not occupying 100% of them. We're occupying every single state. They are 12% occupied. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. We started with less troops, actually. But our units were better. They have, like, bad defense. They have really bad defense. It's Arctic over there for some reason it's not a mountain that's arctic <laughs> you love to see the arctics for here in india and the sikh empire is willing to give up their independence look at us go so we have now expanded our market all the way into india and now we can go ahead and declare another interest because we now own territory in these two it is as simple as that but for now we are only losing 13k now and that is with, you know, all of the, <laughs> still, all of the bureaucracy we are lacking. And all uh, of the insufficient taxation capacity in our nation. Now, my GDP hasn't really gone up because uh, I've only been building government administration buildings, man. <laughs> but at least it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Everything is fine. And meat is actually a luxury good, so we're gonna tax meat. Anyways, we're gonna have to. Go off traditionalism. But, industrialists, 2%, which is most they've ever had, but... <laughs> I like how in vanilla, like, Russia doesn't even have a claim on cars, so they never take it. Vic Free Vanilla is a perfectly balanced experience. Vic Free Vanilla is so goddamn stupid. <laughs> it is honestly incredible. Also, we can't, we simply are not able to go into debt. <laughs> We simply aren't able to. Why? Because the interest rate is 30 fucking percent. We are unrecognized, that's why. Also, and you don't care about this because it's simply me and you're definitely here for the big free. Uh, so <laughs> I've, I've been really into watching, like, uh, wait, they, oh, they back down, damn. Uh, I've been really into watching Danganronpa recently. <laughs> I know, it's really weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> from a, coming from a big free YouTuber, but <laughs> I was I was looking around the the tube and I, I saw a video by um, you might know him as the guy who made the Hunt the Freeman review, and I was looking through his back catalog because I was I was like really missing his voice and I can't watch that video if seven thousand times. Uh, so I was watching through his back catalog and I saw this Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright versus Dangan Rampa uh, comparison video. That he made. Uh, I didn't click on it because I didn't experience Danganronpa. And then I I remember. Oh, I like. Wait a minute. I I thought of Danganronpa. It's like a visual novel and murder mystery game. Wait a minute. I like Ace Attorney. I I also like those. So I looked it up on YouTube instead of playing it myself. Sorry. <laughs> and now I'm in the middle of a let's play. That's why I haven't, I haven't been recording the last two days. <laughs> all all the videos you've seen pre-produced. <laughs> I was just watching Danganronpa, man. No, wait a minute. Now wait a minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> now wait a minute here. Now wait a minute. You don't seem to have any... <laughs> no. Now hold on a second here. No oh, wait, I forgot. I didn't upgrade my army to mobile artillery. No. It's about that time. <laughs> That's my thumbnail. <laughs> if this worked, it's my, it's my thumbnail. <laughs> I know it already. <laughs> it's gonna be like a stereotypical Chinese guy on the left. And then... <laughs> Great Ching, <laughs> right next to Mexico, where Texas is supposed to be. I'm gonna invade Mexico, just so to make the borders better. Um, for the thumbnail. <laughs> That's my plan now. I'm reserves, conscription battalions. No! Wait, they that bat <laughs> They backed down! <laughs> An 
act protectionism and act these nuts, Lamar. Uh, so, um, actually, this is like a good enough thumbnail right here. <laughs> 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 Why does it make me giggle so much? <laughs> okay, because we're now actually building uh, buildings, our money is in the miners again, and we have still minus 500 bureaucracy. Jesus Christ. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> does this get me? <laughs> Why does this get me? Oh god, no! They're going in! <laughs> Wait, I can force recognition on them? No, I can't. I can only force recognition on Great Towers, which is unfortunate. So, I can... I'll do it on Russia because they suck. Now, what will you actually take, Mr. America? You'll return Mexican Colorado. So, this. You get Utah. So, this. And California. I think you missed a spot. 60 million loyalists. There's like 30. <laughs> also, um, I didn't do like a 550 subs um, thank you message on the community uh, tab because I was sleeping. I was sleeping. And you people, you people went from like, I don't know, what was it at? It was at 540 to 570 and I don't think I can, I can, you know, realistically do the message. <laughs> Rude, honestly. Like the Yan Mayan video got me 8 subs. So that was definitely not the 30 subs I got there. But during that time, the only, the, like the only video that actually got views is that one. And I guess the AI only one too. Right, but it got like a hundred, which I guess technically could lead to that many subs. It it got like two. It, it got me like two subs. It doesn't make any sense. Where do these subs come from? I call it scam. I'm being scammed. Well, I guess you're being scammed because I can't thank you. I swear to Christ, you better let me thank you for six hundred subs. Oh, I fucking can't believe this. <laughs> also, yesterday we got a shout out. We got a goddamn shout out. We got a goddamn shout out by the social streamer. That's probably where the subs come from, actually. <laughs> Good point, actually. Uh, the pr probably where the subs come from is from the social streamer because um, he did a shout out. Why? Because I'm his editor. <laughs> like, I'm not his only editor. But he gets me a video every single day and I'm downloading one right now. And the way I know him, it's probably also gonna go up today. <laughs> like, I'm editing two videos today. <laughs> Firstly, his. Because I get paid for that one. But after that I'm gonna edit this one. And I take like two minutes because editing is easy. So easy in fact, that I push this video back two days. Knowing I can make it in less than a day. <laughs> like this isn't, this is, I think this is quality content, right? In my opinion this is quality content. But realistically it's not that high quality. <laughs> Doesn't take that long to make really. Like if you want to make a YouTube channel and work as an editor for the YouTube channel, which is basically the same thing, go for it. I'm doing it right now. I'm do I'm uploading more consistently than he is, so I win. Oh god, it's 40% downloaded. We got a speed run this. Because <laughs> if it's downloaded, then I have to actually work. I don't want to work. So uh, we we got a speed run. Right. So barracks. We have 35 offense and 45 defense. I don't want to fight Russia. I'll win, but I don't want to do it. Fine. Give me some kale when you add it. I don't have an interest! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Russia damaging relations. I wonder why. Um, so the thing with Russia is, right, um, I have the same quality troops as they do. So, um, and I have more twice the amount. So basically the only problem is France! <laughs> Very big problem, actually. Bad! Very not good indeed! Hold on, how many, how many, how many, 11, okay, I'm, I'm a gun, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gonna need to build some things. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and build some boats. <laughs> oh, there's 15 here, actually, I just have two generals here, no, fuck off. So, we have 15 boats, right, this guy goes in here, and this guy, this guy's gonna do a little bit of a naval invasion, so we're gonna go ahead and mobilize him right now, and then wait. We're gonna actually press the mobilize all generals button, I know. It's crazy. This 37 guy. Right. So, this is. I hate the UI of this game so bad. Everyone go on this front. Right, except you. Right? Okay. So, you are going to stand here. You're gonna wait. Austria sides of Russia. It at least takes a care of them. 11 in for me. Jesus. Why did Sweden join? <laughs> Why did Sweden join? See, the force recognize thing. I'm pretty sure all I have to do is um, go ahead and, like, the capital 
The USA sides with her. Why? <laughs> is it because I have Texas? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well... I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> I hate the fact that I can't prepare a goddamn naval invasion. All I want to do is prepare the naval invasion before the war starts, but now I gotta wait 40 days after the war starts for him to prepare the naval invasion, because the actual travel time doesn't exist. No, they cut that out of the game, but what really has to exist, 100% had to be in the game, is preparing the fucking thing for 40 days, even if it's like a four-day voyage. See, see, if I get this, if I get this Yazin guy, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, there it is. He's gonna go there. How long is he gonna take? Oh, he's gonna take 50 days. That's always the same. It's always 50 days. I'm going insane. Also, um, because I'm not only fighting Russia, I'm also fighting Austria here. It's minus 14, 16 actually. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna hope that uh, the USA doesn't get the entirety of Texas in the next 10 days. <laughs> I don't think they will, but they might. For all I know, they are going to win this war. It's actually a very, a very, very low likelihood that they are going to win this war. Because my uh, Qing general over here might not actually win all the time, and he may lose Texas at some point. But, um, I'm, I'm gonna win. In Ingria, in <laughs> two days, yeah, we've, I've landed in Ingria. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and push in the correct direction, please. The one where the enemy is actually sending troops to. They will all take 40 days. So in the next 40 days, we can go ahead and occupy as much as we want. And as you might be able to tell up there, I'm already play paying a 3k interest, and it's only going up from here. Uh, so after the war, we're definitely gonna have to recover for a little bit. Now, they are attacking out of a pocket here, but um, unfortunate things have happened. <laughs> Attrition, they might say. Now, the enemy has arrived. <laughs> but we are occupying a large chunk of the land. Uh, oh, the Finns. Oh, the Finns. Oh, the Finns. They're gonna liberate Ingria. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But we can always just do another naval invasion, because uh, the AI doesn't tend to actually leave troops behind. Oh, they might actually win this offensive right here, because our 10 battalions only have 9k in them, and we are going down the exact same amount. Okay, they are going to win this offensive right there. Uh, they have uh, completely annihilated us in every way. Look at us go. And then, one might make the argument, uh, it's just a bad idea to just do it again. <laughs> Wait, who's Bingzi? That's a different guy, right? I think I sent the 100 guy in there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whoops. Did the other guy die? Yeah, he did. <laughs> did, he, did he do that? Did he do that? No, he didn't. Why can't I send him? Hold on a second. Navy. Fuck off. You go there. You get get diddly instead. There you go. Bingzi. Yashian. There we go. So they're just gonna like stomp all over us uh, for free. Uh, but their war support is just significantly less than uh, ours. And also it's pretty funny that Finland is occupying this now. Finland is occupying the Russian capital. <laughs> we are getting pushed back on the Texan front, which is unfortunate, mostly because we do not have supply in any sort of way. He has 100% attrition, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that 100% that attrition is really funny to me. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, wait, he hasn't returned. <laughs> they actually have to return to the HQ. Huh. Oh, we are gonna win this offensive. You, you'll love to see that. Uh, so, he's gonna return and then immediately fight in the Baltic Sea, which is unfortunate. Oh, Russia actually put their navy out now, which is not very good for us, because look at these strategic regions. The Baltic is right here. And they have a navy in the Baltic. So, we're gonna, you know, put our tail between our legs and uh, invade over here instead. Because they actually have zero boats in this strategic region. Which is fortunate for us. Because he lost a naval battle recently. He can't go. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> they're, sh they're stupid. Anyways, we pushed a tile. Uh, we're s I think we're still losing more war exhaustion. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Also, because we've pushed in here, we now technically have um, the thing. So all we need to do is uh, wait for this guy. Uh, there he goes, and now we are going to go ahead and <laughs> invade a little bit of Sakalem. Uh, our fall will, uh, will not fall below zero because uh, they do not occupy the Sieg Empire. 
and do not have a change on Tweety, Tweety, Treaty Port. Tweety, <laughs> the fucking bird from Looney Tunes. Nevertheless, uh, this guy does not go home. <laughs> right, so they can't push, and we could push once out of sheer luck. So you love to see that, actually. So uh, you're gonna like. Like, rest, please. <laughs> oh my god. So, you're gonna go ahead and... Go ahead and land in Zakalan. There you go. That means they will fall below zero. And we have 100% of our war goals occupied. Meaning a minus two war exhaustion for them. We're also going to move into Hokkaido for some reason. Look at us go. At this point, we don't even have to push anymore. We're going to do it. But we don't have to. We're gonna finish up this Sakalem front. Look at us go. Logistics. Even more conscriptable battalions. Hmm. <laughs> so we successfully did the do. Did the guy die? Yeah, he died. <laughs> okay, my admiral died, which is unfortunate. We're gonna go ahead and get this. And we're gonna go ahead and make him do a naval invasion into East Karelia with Yashan himself. Why? Because it's funny. They are going, like, below zero. How bad can it be? Official score, let's do the gamble <laughs> Why did I, like, combine how bad can it be and... Uh, don't hug me, I'm scared, song. <laughs> My brain! Failure? Fuck you! Specifically, traditionalist. It was definitely the traditionalist fault, that's why we need a royalist in charge. Wait, that's our, that's our navy guy. That's our navy guy. There's a Nevada-shaped hole in your nation. Okay, like, imagine if they did this in real life, right? <laughs> they just didn't take these territories. It's just... They're trying to take Texas, but they didn't take Texas in the war against Mexico. Like, like the Mexican part of Texas. And they also didn't take the Mexican part of New Mexico, and also not Arizona, and also not Nevada, making California completely isolated from the rest of the United States. What the hell, Henry Clay? Expert colonial administrator. My ass, man. My ass, man. Also, we landed in Karelia. Look at us go. The more and more we occupy of the Russian Empire, the more and more war exhaustion they will lose. So this is basically just a get on with it tactic. <laughs> oh, Russia actually pushed in. Oh my god. And I immediately pushed him. <laughs> I immediately pushed him out. Not from the actual, uh, like, place where I pushed him, but right next to it. <laughs> I, you love to see it. Poetic justice. <laughs> Poetic justice. Also, sorry, Kukam, but, like, fuck you. <laughs> like, you're just slightly on fire. Not that bad. Also, because... I, oh, no, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. I thought because it was occupied by Finland, it'd still get devastation, but it doesn't. But Karelia does have... <laughs> the atmosphere again. Uh, Karelia does have devastation, which is going up because I'm occupying it. <laughs> so, at least that's nice. So, everyone would now agree to a white peace. And, well, the USA just did. Everyone except France would actually agree to recognize me at this point. Uh, but I feel like it's like a few minutes. You do not have a choice in the matter. Matter? Matter. The f what am I saying? What are the noises that are leaving my mouth? Also, we have like 100% uh, attrition again, I'm pretty sure. Austria peaced out. And I am going to have to deal with the French. After the Russians capitulate, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, France doesn't appear to be in any willing shape. Oh, the Russians pushed. No. And then they failed again. And then I push. And I fail. No. And then I look over here. And no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not just getting Sakalem out of this. France actually just peaced out. So uh, bye bye, Russia. <laughs> you had a good run. Oh, because Russia gave up. Um... No, because France give up. Um, there's actually... They have to actually send the people here again. <laughs> Which is unfortunate for them. All Russia wants to do is liberate Kokon. Kokon. Come on, come on. It's really unfortunate. Wait, it's actually, like, going below zero. Because now all they want to do is release Kokon. I'm losing, like, war goal pretty fast. But, like, they're doing it faster. So, um... And... We got recognized. And Sakalem. Meaning we are the number two great power. Look at us go! What the? Who the hell are you? 18 years old. Look at your beef go. We are still technically below the British Empire. I don't care though. Fuck you. And I feel like that is going to be it 
for this episode of Victoria the Third. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my guide on how to China all over the place. Um, if you liked it, like the video and subscribe. Please, please. I want the subs. All I want for Christmas is subscribers.